presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on. Go Rose. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night and a great week, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 19, NASDAQ off three, S&P's up seven and a half. Gold, gold contract up $20, $28.50 at 21.24 an ounce. You get silver up 73 cents, 21 dollars, 10 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 12, 78 dollars, 85 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down nine ticks, trading 110.24. The 30-year down 14 ticks at 119.19. And King Dollar, King Dollar's down 41 ticks, trading 103, 820. Euro at 108, yen at 150. British pound at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you get a small ABC up in both of them. My take is that, you know, we're going to get a pullback here because you do have a huge contraction of volume. But guess what? <laughs> I think the ABC is going to finish first. So right now on the SPY, we're at 513. And it's, <laughs> check this out. Yeah, it's 526. So you got a long way to go here, man. Um, we'll see how it shakes out. But we took that B point out. And we took it out with volume on Friday. So, and it's a, it's a decent ABC on the way up. So 526, we're at 513. We go to the NDX 100, the three Qs. Take a look at the three Qs. Same, another ABC up. Right now they're flat. You're at 445, and this is 454. You know, you can see Friday. Friday was a big day. It had wide price spread, plus you had the accelerated volume. Takes it out, man. Takes it out with volume. So we have an ABC up, up market anyway. So I suspect. Window dressing really is going to be closing up maybe tomorrow, today, tomorrow. So the next catalyst here is going to end up being Powell uh, in front of Congress. Let me see. I think that starts Wednesday, right? Well, I have it in this one here. Well, I got to, I got to, oh, we get the beige book too on the 6th. Yeah, Powell in front of Congress is going to do it though. Now check this out. We know that the gold contract's been on the run. But this is pretty cool. Look at this. Okay, so this is the GLD. Now, I just brought the GLD back 20 years. The GLD is breaking all highs, okay? We've been, we were, the consolidation that we were in was a three-year consolidation, a four-year consolidation, okay? Now, we broke that. Now, this is what's important to understand, though, right? Watch this. I'll leave that one up just so you can understand how this works because we're actually higher than that. Because the GLD has a four tenths of 1% four tenths of 1% gain. 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 Four tenths of 1% gain.
fee structure. Yeah, it's four, it's four tenths of one percent. Okay, so in four years, okay, what do we got? One point six percent. You see what I'm saying? So we're really breaking this, and we get the juice behind it. So bottom line, you get to new highs. Guess what? New highs, higher, higher you can go. I'm going to take the generic contract, and the reason I'm taking the generic contract right now is that I want to see what we're going up against. I'm going to put this first on a 10-year. I might have to expand it to bigger than that. Yeah, I do. But this is pretty cool. Look at this. See, you broke it. Now, this is what gets interesting here. Do you remember? Well, of course you remember. <laughs> Four months ago, the bottom line, we broke it and failed. Now, we're not at that price point yet. But the bottom line, we'll see whether, you know, you can, can do it. But you can see how this is shaking out. So put this back 20. Yeah, same deal. So what, what happens, folks, is that, you know, when you get at new highs, you don't have any resistance. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line because no one's bought yet. It's a big number, man. It's totally a big number. Let's get into the silver contract. Take a look at the silver contract. Silver contract today really got some juice. Fr Friday wasn't bad, but today is really got some juice. 81,000 contracts. That's big contract volume for the silver. Yeah, you can see it's the expansion of volume from Friday, too. Friday, we did 73,000. So silver's on its way up to this $28 level. Right now, you're at $24.12. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. And we have out here with the 10-year. 10-year had a decent sign of strength on Friday. You're pulling back today with light volume. We did 2.6 or 2.7 million contracts on Friday. Let's see what we got. And we were rolling also. Yeah, 2.7 million contracts Friday. You're rolling back with 1.1. That's a market that wants higher price. And then we go to the dollar. We take a look at this dollar. This dollar is hanging tough, man. It's pretty wild. It, as I say, it's hanging tough. It is, okay? But it looks to me like this still wants to get in the lower range. And we've been dealing with this now for almost two full weeks. It got in the lower range once, rejected it right away, and then... Three other days, it would cut to the top of the lower range and then rejected it. Now, the cool thing about that, folks, is that if it does break into the lower range, you are going to see volume explode. Because when that's the building cause of it. The longer that you build cause, <laughs> the more destruction that it can done on the downside. The longer you build cause on the upside, the higher it can go. Dow Industrials right now down 13, NASDAQ's up 12, S&P's are up 11. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 23, NASDAQ up 9, S&P's up 9.5. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, has a great newsletter. Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right at the featured content on the right-hand side. You just hit that button. You can get it for one month for $149. Six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $11.95, which is the savings of $593.33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So when you get Steve's newsletter, you're also going to get all the tools that Steve uses each and every day. Huge value, folks. Huge value. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Just returning from a uh, great weekend visit with my uh, one of my youngest grandsons, Charlie, oh. who's 16 months old. How cool He's, is that? He, he lives, yeah. Oh, it's, it's such a. He lives up in uh, Roswell, Georgia. Okay. And you know, you spend time up in Georgia; it's nothing but hills. Yeah. And this this 16 month old, he loves being outside. It doesn't matter if it's raining, walking up the hills. So I got a great workout in. I bet you uh, did. You know, hard to keep up with a 16-month-old. That's who's, a fact, man. But you, know, you can do it. Run. You can yeah. do it, Steve Rhodes. Yeah. No Absolutely. doubt, man. I Absolutely. like it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, hey, um, my question for for you, for everybody, is, and what we're going to talk about today, is has the next bull run in gold begun? So I thought we'd go ahead and take that. Good. Now, now, you know, the, the normal bull run out there, the one in Pamplona, that, that kicks off every July 7th, I believe, every year, <laughs> like is it. when they do that bull run. But we're talking about the bull run in gold out here. So the best bull markets, I've found, the best bull markets unfold when prices rising in all major currencies out there. By major yes. currencies, I'm referring to the euro, to the pound, uh, yep. to the uh, yen, uh, you know, the, the major currencies out there. And here is a chart that uh, takes us back to the 2000-2011 time frame, where I've got the green uh, upward arrows drawn. We can see that gold was rising in all of those currencies at the same time. Okay. And that's what makes a really great bull market. Of course, we can also see that gold's been rising basically since 2016, when the US dollar index put in its bottom out here. Um, so if we take that a bit further, you had mentioned this during the show, 
you would take a look at the GLD. You had brought the chart back. You would take a look. Said, we are at new all-time highs. It's new all-time. It's original all-time high or it's most recent all-time high uh, that I had uh, occurred back in August of 2020. And that was at the price point of 194.45. And the reason that I switched uh, right here to the GLD charts, Tom, is because the people at home, the folks that are watching can recreate these charts. Maybe yes. they don't have access to the gold futures contract. And as you said, you know, looking at the different gold futures contracts makes it slightly complicated um, because of using the continuous contract sure. and not knowing, to, you know. And so I thought I'd go with the GLD. But as you pointed out, even the GLD, we've got expenses. Um, you've got um, – uh, so you got expenses associated with this. But here's what we do know. The GLD, in terms of U.S. dollars, made a new all-time high today. It did the same thing in terms of Great British Pound. Great British Pound, previous all-time high was on October 27th. With regard to gold, the GLD and yen, that's going to be the upper right-hand panel out here. That broke to new all-time high maybe about two weeks ago. And uh, with regard wow. to gold, in terms of the uh, uh, euro down here, this would be the uh, center panel at the uh, bottom. This broke to a new all-time high on Friday. Friday's price action took it to a all, new all-time high. And the uh, same in terms of Aussie dollars. Aussie dollars actually made a new all-time high, I believe, was on uh, Thursday of last week. So we've got all of – we've got the GLD. We've got gold trading and major currencies at new all-time highs. Like you said, once you get to new all-time highs, you really don't have any resistance out there. Yes, Right. We don't have resistance. That means we really need to rely upon different pattern recognition tools that you use, Larry uses, uh, Basil uses, that I use out there. We really need to rely on those pattern tools to help assist us with regard to where an instrument is going. So, again, the best bull runs, they unfold when an instrument is trading higher in all major currencies. So I would say that box number one has been checked that maybe we are in the beginning of a new bull run. Let's go take a look. What is box number two? Box number two, Tom, was what I call the dance steps of the market. Not like the basic box dance that you and I probably learned initially. Did your mom teach you how to do the box dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all <laughs> went around. There's no doubt. There used to be a lot of singing and a lot of dancing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to consider that box number two like out that. there. And when I'm referring <laughs> to the dance steps, folks, I'm taking a look at a chart. This is a monthly chart for gold. This is the continuous contract for gold. And the red digits that you see out there, what they are tracking are consecutive months to the downside. And my contention is that the real bull market for gold back in the 2000 time frame began in October of 2000. And the way that I concluded that is in real bull runs out there, we don't typically see pullbacks that last more than two consecutive sessions to the downside. And that's what we see when we begin back here in October of 2000. We can see that all these retracements took place. There were just basically two bar knee jerk reaction lows out there. Well, where are we at today? Turns out that if we go back into the uh, June-July time frame, we had a two-month move to the downside. At the end of February, that was also a two-month move to the downside, and we've taken off. Now, what's unique about this is we're now at new all-time highs, which we each of us took a look at. So here, if we go back again and take a look at this, we've got these two. We got this monthly two-bar move to the downside before price resumes to the upside out there, and we've got that pattern that's in play right now. So I would say that box number two at this stage of the game has also been checked. Well, what I'm not saying out here, folks, and I want to make sure that I'm very clear, is that even though we've identified these major bull runs, there still are retracements that take place. And these retracements, if we are in this major bull run, we shouldn't see anything that lasts beyond two full months of consecutive moves lower out there. So therefore, um, to manage through this bull run, uh, you really need to rely upon pattern recognition because we're going to have these retracements out there. Okay. Yes. So what does that mean, Stevie? What that means, if we take a look at the daily chart for gold and I go back here into the uh, – October time frame, we're going to see, this is a daily time frame, we're going to see our TD9 count pattern. So all that I've really hi uh, highlighted out here are TD9 counts. And one of the tools that I teach folks. So if people don't know this pattern, they're trading uh, gold, they're trading any vehicle, they've got an opportunity, they can subscribe to Mastering Probability, they can do it for less than 30 days, doesn't cost them anything, and they will learn this pattern. And we can see that the actual last bottom that formed on a daily basis inside of uh, gold was a TD nine count bottom. Now this takes us back into the two. Th this is the TD nine count bottom that formed back here. 
uh, back in the uh, February time frame. If I go back and take a look at the 2000 bull run, we'll see all kinds of TD9 counts out there. So it's not as if I'm sharing with people a pattern that didn't exist and didn't work back during that 2000 bull run. So it's one pattern that folks should be paying attention to. I So I, my conclusion, Tom, with regard to has the next bull run in gold begun, I believe the answer to that is yes until proven otherwise. And the proven otherwise would be more than a two-month decline out there. And I just think we're off to the upside. And I think we're just at the beginning phase here of this part of that bull run. And folks, it's really, you heard what Steve was saying about the, and, and I can tell you, you know, we've all been around a long time. The key what Steve was saying is that in all currencies, all you have higher highs. Because I remember the yes. first time you figured that out, Steve, okay? Yeah. And that's yeah. a Steve Rhodes deal, folks, okay? Because I remember the first time you figured that out in the broad market, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's and that's cool so thing. cool, man, That you, because that totally makes sense. You got more buyers, right? You, yeah. have, you have higher highs right across the world, man. Worldwide. Folks, get over to our world. website at TFNN. It's right into featured content, right-hand side, pro mastering probability. Hit that, baby. Thanks so much, Steve. Have a great one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Oh, Educating I don't know. investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 56, Nasdaq's off 8, S&P's are up 5. Uh, New York City Bank, folks, okay? just We can watch this go out of business. So, and he got, you know... It, whether it was yelling, you got you get all these folks saying, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's like, give me a break. It's at $2.80 right now. It's breaking lows. I don't think it's ever traded at this price. Let me go look at this for a second. One second. Let's see. 
they're toast. They're, they're, they're done. Yeah, they're done. They're done. And then Coinbase, okay? So this gets really intriguing. Coinbase has some big problems. And what it is, let's see, coin. Oh, one second. This is the second day in a row that Coinbase, that their customers, okay, and it's up $28, okay, but this is the second day in a row that the customers are saying that they have zero balances, folks. Zero balances, yeah. <laughs> Imagine having a million bucks in there, or 100,000 in there, or 5,000 in there, and you look and they have zero balances, yeah. There's a problem there, no doubt. Um, let me see where I'm at here, one second. Let's go to Michael in Orlando. Hey, Michael, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing, buddy? Long time, no talk. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Yeah, good, good. Just working hard. Funny you brought up the Coinbase thing. The reason why I started following Grayscale, the one I'm going to ask, want to ask you about, is because I don't trust any of these. These they're not exchanges; they're actually brokers. But I don't trust any of the crypto brokers. But I wanted a little exposure to um, to crypto. Yes. And and I got my account, my account got hacked at Coinbase. I had it, and I said, "Oh my goodness!" I was, and that's when I started dealing with the EFPs and the, the trust. Okay. But it's funny you said that about Coinbase. Yeah, that's wild, man. So what what is what it what symbol would you like to look at? Boy, yep. C is in Connie, H is in Harry, G is in girl. It's a Bitcoin Cash Trust from Grayscale. Oh, I got it. Okay, so you get the Grayscale Bitcoin yeah. Cash Trust. Okay. Um, and I was. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I had bought it. I looked at it. it the volume patterns looked pretty good on it. That's why I picked it up around. I was kind of around about in the low threes. Okay. Um, had, a big, had a pretty big day today. Yeah, um, it's huge, man. You got an ABC was, up. And now, this is up $2, folks, and it opened this morning. Well, it closed Friday at $4.16. You're trading sixteen fifteen, And let's pull this back. Okay, so let's put it on a weekly. Because this is going to blow it away in a weekly. Oh, this could be cool, man. <laughs> you could have a heck of an ABC up here, man. Let me see. Well, on the weekly, 34. Okay, so you get 370. Oh, I see. 670. So on the weekly, you'll probably get the volume on the weekly. On the daily, you have the volume already. Uh, that's 670. The tiger did, and we've hit 617 thus far. Let's see, put this on the daily again. So on the daily, if I do it this way, it's going to be the same, man. No, what's that? 180. Three fifty. Is the A to B? Four fifty. Yeah, that's cool. You know, it's going to be in between six fifty and six eighty, which is which is pretty cool there because the the bottom line is that. You know, you ha you have a break top side with volume. There's no doubt. And, and if we go over to XBT, this is predicated on XBT, folks. Okay. And you know, look at this. My God, it's up forty forty seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sixty seven thousand five seventy. Let's just put this back. It's probably okay. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, I'd stay right there because now what's going to happen when it gets to this, you know, 69, 70,000, Michael, is that that's 100% move or move. So you have to be a little careful, okay. but, you know, you're in the right spot, man. That's the bottom line. Yeah. It's quite a run, huh? That's quite a run, man. Yeah, I, I kind of I kind of caught it. I kind of caught it on the retracement after it went up to five bucks. Nice. They, they can go nuts. They can go a little nuts when they run. They run like crazy. No, they, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And I suspect what's going to... So when you get to a high like this, folks, after such a dramatic low, there's going to be plenty of people that probably are going to try to shot at their highs. But I suspect it's going to break that high in a, in a good way. 
in a big way probably, Michael. Um, and then you've got to pull back or something. It's not going to keep going straight up. We know that. But um, I don't think it's going to stop at that high right now. Not when you get 4,500 today. You know, it's just like, okay. Oh. It's because oh, okay. It's, there's okay. probably too many people uh, shot in the deal. Thanks a lot. Okay, man. You have a great one and a safe one. All right. Thanks, buddy. That is some move. Let's go over to that again and look at that. That's, <laughs> that is a move and a half, man. Just look at that. Just look at this, actually. Uh, well, I see. XBT. Come on. XBT. What's going on? Don't do this. There we go. Whoa, don't do that to me. Okay, it's messing with me. That's all right. So, come on, get back on here. Reconnecting. I just got booted. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. So, let's take a look at this thing. It's up $4,807 in one day. This, this move is extraordinary. If we go back three, six, nine days, it's gone from 50,000 to 67. Hey, and this is a wide price spread, folks. What happens with wide price spread bars, okay? And that's why when I was just talking with Michael, I says, I suspect it's gonna break the high. When you get a wide price spread bar, they normally don't come in singles. You can see the, the you know, we had, before we got the last four days, you had it sideways, and then you had three huge days up. Out of the three, two of them are wide price spread. The third one in the middle was pretty good too, but the bottom line, these things don't come in ones. They don't come in ones on the way up, and they don't come in ones on the way down. Pretty intense, man. Particularly intense, so what was the bottom on this? Not like the ETFs putting juice underneath them, huh? 19,000, right? 18,000, 19,000? Yeah, that's what it looks like. 19,000 to 67,000. And I'm sure some folks got it, folks. Holy cow. Well, God bless everyone in Bitcoin and making money, because that's a beautiful thing. Dow's down 95, Nasdaq's up 28, S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 52, NASDAQ off 24, S&P's up too. Check this one out, folks. <laughs> this is going to be intense when this happens. In general, so again, I mean, Reddit. Reddit's going to go public, folks. Okay, and it's this is going public in the next probably within 30 days, 40 days, probably. Now, the Reddit stock trading enthusiasts, okay, who made Reddit basically a name, have decided that they are going to basically they're not happy. Okay, so they are going to they've already pushed. Look at this. This is amazing. So they have 15 million users, folks, okay? And we know what happened with GameStop, with uh, what was the theater chain. I mean, they, they, if they get on something, man, forget it. And in this particular case, what they decided is that Reddick doesn't make enough money. And they think that there's going to be not as much freedom when they go public. Top comments are all negative, basically, and there's not a lot of enthusiasm for the IPO because they're critical of the lack of revenue, and they fear more moderation. Uh, the, <laughs> so they think, well, we'll find out what ends up happening. Um, and this is the, the, the part of this is the, the Wall Street bets part of Reddick, okay? And so it looks like they want to be shot in the stock. Now, what's going to get interesting here, folks, is this. The way an IPO goes is that in, the, in this particular IPO, what Reddick's going to do is that they're giving, I don't know how they're going to break this down, but it said that they're going to be giving out 76,000 customers a chance to buy the Reddick stock, okay, prior to the, the IPO. Um, wouldn't be prior to it. Because then you'd have to have, you have to be an investor. Let's see how that works. Anyway, there's 76,000, not just shares, that folks that they said that they're going to give a chance to buy the IPO, probably at the IPO price, okay? So what happens when an IPO comes out? Most of the time, well, not it's all of the time, all of the time what ends up happening when it first comes out, the shares themselves don't get into folks accounts in order to even lend them out for a good, it can be a good couple of weeks, okay? So this could turn into a real trip, uh, and we'll see if, in fact, the broker-dealer community at the beginning has enough shares so they can short it. But you talk about a little battle, huh? <laughs> that is about as intense as you can get. Um, you know, the, the, the wild thing, the way that I look at Reddit right now, um, you know, we'll see on this gold run. If they catch the gold run, it could get really intriguing because inside of the gold market, folks, the gold market is so small that a 
Reddick at Wall Street Bets, if they ever got long, I mean, forget it. You would see things that, you know, in, in big bull runs, you know, gold equities really run anyway because the market's so small. But if that ever came to being, forget it, man. You'd see things that, um, just like the GameStop, just like the rest of it, because the bottom line is that there's just not enough shares. And that, in that particular case, though, yeah, they'd be going long. Now, there's not a lot of shot. What they normally look for, they look for shot interest in order to basically make the squeeze. And that, that's not in the gold market. Even Newmont, which is the biggest dog, has only has a 1.5% interest, uh, shot interest. If we go to uh, Barrick, the other big one, nine-tenths of 1%. Yeah, so... so there's, there's not a lot of shot of interest. What would happen is that what you'd be looking at there is that they decided that just gold's going to go, and someone would catch on that, okay, these gold stocks, they're so tiny that it doesn't take much buying to really send them up. Tesla, yeah. Tesla and Apple are having a huge hard time. Apple, you know, we were talking about this Friday. Apple has a, wants to go a lot lower. Here, let me pull up Apple for a second because Apple... And Apple came out this morning, uh, not Apple, the, the European Union came out with a nice um, fine on them. But when you take a look at Apple, three year, I'll put on a 10 year monthly. Yeah, see when you put this, this, this has a long way to go down, man. The last time it had any volume was at 127. 137, sorry, 137. And you know, that's the bottom of the consolidation, or close to it. And what has happened now, it's just coming back inside the lower range. So it jumped outside the range, the higher range. It went higher, gave it up, went higher again, gave it up again. This thing's going lower, man. Now let's go to Tesla. We take a look at Tesla. We put this on a monthly... Yeah, this is going up to high volume low. Last time we were down here, that's a high volume low, man. We're at 189. What is that? Ugh. 101. Yeah, it's 101. That'd be a smoking. That would really be a smoking. But that's what it looks like. And the high, just look at this. If you're watching Target TV, folks, you know, you know that's all I talk about is price and volume, but you got to see this. You can see all, see all these highs? Nothing, nothing, no buyers up here. Nothing at all. And then bailing, bailing, bailing. Yeah, this is going a lot lower, man. Let's go to Google, because Google, they, they would, I, and this had to do with the European fine this morning. I don't know, you know, they're probably going to get fined too, but you're, Google's down 354, 385. And put this back. Let's see what this is looking like. Well, Google should get some love at 127. We'll see how it acts at 127. You know, you have Powell, you have, we have Powell out here, I believe, Wednesday and Thursday in the House and the Senate. That's going to move markets. You know, we'll, we'll see, you know, exactly what he has to say. Oh, we're talking about moving markets. Let's go look at the S&P. Something's moving the S&P right now. So when I started the program, I think the S&P was up 10. Now we're down 6. I see it's just going after the lows of today. And when you look at this, this is a riot. Oh my God. See, that's a, that one top side, you finish an ABC up. So, so when you look at this intraday, you can see it finished an ABC up, did a deal there, coming down, look at this, unreal. Came right down to the last time we had volume, right there, unreal. Tucked it a, a, a bit. Yeah, and that was from uh, 10 o'clock this morning. That's how that baby was set up. Pretty wild. And folks, if you haven't test drove the gold report yet, time to do it, man. Let's get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it. You get the 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out.
You get the, there's two new buys in there today too, by the way. Uh, you get the Dow up, uh, it's up not down 93, Nasdaq off 69, S and P's off seven. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow's down 109. NASDAQ is off 70. S&Ps are off 7. We get over and take a look at the SPY here. So now you're gonna, yeah, you get 39 million shares traded. This ABC up is still still going on, man. The Q is gonna be the same way. Let's go. Actually, I want to go inside the NDX for a second. One second. We look inside the NDX. The move is out here. There we go. I see. So you got Intel up four percent. Let's get in movement. DoorDash. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Doorjets up four, Nvidia up three and a half. So Nvidia is breaking. Did it break those highs? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it broke that high, but uh, you got a shooting star up here too. So what happens with a shooting star? This is good to know for Nvidia. Shooting stars like get tested, folks. So we might get a pullback in Nvidia and then go up there and test it again, because you get a shooting star. It's taken out a high, taken it out with lighter volume. That's that's means for a pullback, yeah. And if you remember the 
when Tim Wood was on, uh, on the monthly basis, okay, this S&P, if we put this cash S&P, it doesn't matter which one you actually do, you put it on a monthly, what you're going to see, if you're into statistics, is that, whoops, wrong one, close out, is that, yeah, it went, Oh, yeah, I got to put on the monthly, though, monthly. Because the monthlies, this is important to understand, too. Whoops. Wrong one. Right one. There we go. And you're going to see, yeah, you're still outside of it. You know, you're halfway outside of it last month. We're outside of it again. You can bring this back. You can go on top of these, folks, but not for long. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks you off 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks.